I just had a phone call. I had to take that. But um, like I said before, um, tutorials are a great option as well. There is um, just gobs of information <laughs> in terms of whatever field that you're looking into, that you're looking to jump into. So we'll just talk about tech specifically, whatever job title, software engineering, cybersecurity, IT help desk. There's so much information, tutorials to kind of get the ball rolling for you. It's going to help you a lot. I, I know it will because it's free, first of all. And um, yeah, there's just so much um, up-to-date information that's going to really help you know what to do. And what, and what I mean by what to do is know exactly what technologies to learn, what skills to obtain. And you want to really know what to learn. So you, you're not wasting time on things that you shouldn't be learning about because it's just a waste of time for you. So um, if that makes any sense, I hope that does make sense to you. YouTube just helps. And that's just something that I use very much so to just start my education as a fundamental way of learning about IT help desk. Once I, I, you know, I felt I was ready to graduate to something more advanced. I took a course, right? And this, this video is sponsored by course careers. And that's why I very much do speak about them a lot because I've used them. I've used the service. I'm an actual user of their, um, of their product or, or their products. And it worked. So I'm here to tell you, if you're looking to at least learn um, whatever job title in tech, um, places like Course Careers is a great option. It's not for everybody, you know, of course. I don't want to push this like it's going to be like your your whole, your whole, your, your holy grail, basically. Um, it, it helped me, and it, it's helped so many other people. I'm sure it could help you out as well, too. But that's what I did also. So I went ahead and just took a course from Course Careers, the IT Help Desk course. Um study like a study crazy of course i passed it and that certificate did help me land a job believe it or not now i'm not saying employees are asking about my certificate because they did not the the the, the point is they see that on your resume or they see it on your linkedin that you are always um trying to sharpen your skills so that does help a lot it, it just does and what's even um awesome is Sometimes the people or yeah, sometimes the in the in the um in the interviewer may recognize what course careers is and they may even know some of the professors or the teachers um of course careers. So it just makes it look really good. So go for it. But that's what I did. And the best about the best part about this course is they have labs. So you it's it's very hands-on training. You you it's like you're not you're not just reading all day, you're actually you know, physically doing the work, like you are building things, you are learning how to use the technology. So Azure, um, Active Directory, PowerShell, Wireshark, you're, you're, you're messing with all these different um, technologies and you may see these technologies at your workplace. I know I, I see them right now. So um, again, Microsoft Azure, switches and routers. I'm seeing all these things firsthand at my current employer. And yeah, you know, those laboratories very much help a lot. Those laboratories, those labs help so much. So education was the first thing that I went and decided to focus on. That's what um, got me prepared to know what to expect and help desk. So um, education is the first thing that I did. Second thing that I did was networking. I, um, I, I, I'm such a fan of speaking with people and trying to connect as much as possible. And when I say connect, it doesn't always mean in person. Connecting with people is also through social media, like what I'm doing right now with you. Even though I don't know you personally, this is still us connecting because you're looking for information from whomever and you're watching this video for that information. So this is a form of connection. It is. And this is to me a form of networking. Me doing what I'm doing, speaking to you, you know, this is networking. Now you know who I am because of this video. And um, let's say you are a, a, a recruiter or a, a HR person. You're watching my video. You may have interest in wanting to learn more about me because of this video. I may come up as a nice guy or whatnot. You may want to learn more about me and maybe do some more research about me. Um, of course, I have all my social media platforms. I mean, not platforms, but accounts available. If you are looking to learn more information about me, I have a resume online, I have a LinkedIn, 
I'm online. Like I'm, I'm here ready to be social and converse. So it's just a great look. So this is a form of networking besides in like besides doing it in person, which is always a great option as well. In person is a great way of networking. Actually knowing the person in real life, like physically to me seems to always outweigh, not outweigh, but seem, seem to always outnumber online presence. In person, knowing someone in person is just always going to be a winner to me because they know they actually know you. You know what I mean? Like they they they're physically speaking with you. So yeah, networking is something that I very much did focus on a lot. Um, I've I've gone to events, and what does that have to do with this video? Ba like basically, you're you're meeting people. They may give you information that may benefit you by you just going to a event locally like some type of event in your industry, go to it, meet people, talk. Um, you never know who's there and they may give you a shot at a job. You just never know. So if it's possible for you to attend a local event in your industry, go for it. I encourage it very much so. <gasps> Excuse me. But um, again, networking is something that I did focus on after education. And it, it, it just works. I mean, I mean, the thing is, pretty much all my jobs were like I, I landed my jobs in 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 like pre previous roles basically I was able to land those jobs by networking but people who gave me a shot knew of me and they gave me the opportunity because they know me already they know I'm reliable I'm a hard worker I'm a fast learner I'm all that stuff and yeah that j just just by being knowing them they gave me an, an opportunity. So this is why I say networking is such a big deal. That may be the reason why you get a job in the first place by just people knowing you, right? Because a lot of time it's not always what you know, but who you know, right? That would never die. Like that's never gonna go away. Knowing people will always get you in than just knowing something. But it, it just always seems to always be the, it wins, it, it works. Just knowing people always seem to work. So networking is something I very much do focus on a lot. And I, I encourage you to do the same thing. Network your butt off. Even if that means starting a, a YouTube channel, some type of social platform ch channel, just put yourself out there and get, get people to notice you, right? Or just notice your work, your projects, if that makes any sense. Last but not least, what helped me, uh, what, what, how I broke into the IT help desk role is experience. Now, um, this is something is a little hot here now. I guess this is where um, I may, I guess, have a higher advantage than some people because I do have experience in terms of tech support and customer service and just tech in general. Now, I don't want to say IT and tech support are very identical, but it just depends on the job or the job title. I'm sorry, the, the job duties. A lot of time it is very you know close in terms of the task that you'll be given and what I mean by that is I've worked in tech support for a very long time so I have experience working with people and working with end users clients how to how to troubleshoot problem solve that is what IT help desk is you're basically fixing stuff for people you're taking on some you're you're, you're, you're taking on someone else's stress by fixing their problem and that's something I have a lot of experience in. So experience does seem to work a lot as well too. At least in my case, it does. And maybe you're, you're someone that doesn't have experience yet. And a lot of times, believe it or not, we do have experience in tech support or customer service. Maybe you worked at you know, a Burger King or a McDonald's or some type of retail store. That's customer service, believe it or not. You're assisting others. That, that is literally what you're doing in IT Help Desk. You're helping others. Your job is to assist. <laughs> you're basically a servant <laughs> because you're 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 fixing problems all day. Someone someone puts in a ticket, right? A ticket, which is what we use at my job or just a lot of jobs. There's a ticket. I mean, a, a, a ticket system that people that the end that the end user is cre that 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 they create and they send to you. You know, whatever problem they're having, if that makes any sense. Let's say someone's having issues with their monitor, their computer screen. They create a ticket and that ticket gets sent to the IT department and whomever decides to take that ticket 
has to go fix that problem for that person's monitor. That's what I'm talking about. A lot of time we have experience in customer service, right? We, we just do. So don't let that stop you think you don't have any experience. A lot of times you do, especially in customer service. If you work in, a, in, in any type of service-based environment, again, a retail or restaurant, that's customer service. So you can use that to your, your advantage that you do have experience in helping people, assisting, troubleshooting, problem solving. That's what IT Help Desk is. That is exactly what that is. And that's why I was able to land jobs in IT because I have those experiences from my you know, previous roles, troubleshooting, problem solving, and assisting others, whether it's an end user, uh, employee, a client, same thing. Um, hope this makes sense. I have to get back to work, actually. Uh, I have about half an hour left before I go home. Just wanted to come out here and knock out a quick video. And I figured this was a good time to do it since I'm on break and just kind of give my testimony, my opinion, and um, just my truth of working in Help Desk and basically how I landed a job or how I broke into Help Desk or just a tech role. Um, yeah, man. So hope this helps. And um, any questions, leave a comment down below. Feel free to email me if you can find my email. Um, and we'll just go from there. Meantime, have an awesome day. Peace out. Thanks for watching.